Hello students. Today's topic of discussion is voltage controlling inverters. We know that an inverter is a power electronic device that converts DC to AC. AC loads may require constant or adjustable voltage at their output terminals. When such loads are fed by inverters, it is essential that output voltage of the inverters is to be controlled to fulfill the requirements of AC loads. The various methods for the control of output voltage of inverters are external control of AC output voltage and internal control of inverter. In case of external control of AC output voltage, a voltage controller is inserted between the output terminals of inverter and the AC load terminals. The voltage input to the AC load is controlled by controlling the firing angle of AC voltage controller. Next is internal control of inverters. In this method, the output voltage from the inverter can be adjusted by providing a control within the inverter itself. That is by controlling the on and off time of inverter switches. The most efficient method of doing internal control of inverter is by pulse width modulation technique, PWM. By using this method, a fixed DC input voltage is applied to the inverter and a controlled AC output voltage is obtained by adjusting the on and off period of the inverter switches. The commonly used pulse width modulation control techniques are single pulse width modulation, multiple pulse width modulation and sinusoidal pulse width modulation. First one is single pulse width modulation. In single pulse width modulation, there are only one pulse per half cycle and the width of this pulse is varied to control the inverter output voltage. So, in order to obtain single pulse width modulation, we are using two type of signals. First one is known as reference signal and second one is the carrier signal. Here, rectangular wave is used as reference signal, rectangular wave and triangular wave is used as carrier signal, triangular wave. Both are given to the comparator and these signals are compared with the help of comparator and the output signal is given to the trigger pulse generator and the trigger pulse generator produces triggering pulses to the inverter switches. Consider the waveforms. Here AR, AR is the amplitude of reference signal and AC is the maximum amplitude of carrier signal and this rectangular wave is compared with the triangular wave when AR greater than AC the output pulse is obtained that is when the amplitude of rectangular wave is greater than the amplitude of triangular wave an output pulse is obtained. Here we can see that during each half cycle only single pulse is obtained. Hence the name single pulse width modulation. Here the output voltage is controlled by varying the pulse width. Next is multiple pulse width modulation. 
in multiple pulse width modulation control there are several pulses per half cycle and width of the each pulse is same here also reference signal and carrier signals are given to a comparator here reference signal is rectangular wave and the carrier signal is triangular wave both are compared and the output of the comparator is given to the trigger pulse generator trigger pulse generator generates trigger pulses for inverter switches consider the waveforms ar ar is a amplitude of rectangular wave ac ac is a maximum amplitude of carrier wave that is triangular wave both are compared when ar greater than ac output pulses are generated during these intervals ar greater than ac so these pulses are used to trigger the switches of inverters and the output voltages are obtained from the waveforms it is clear that in multiple pulse width modulation there are several pulses per half cycle hence the name multiple pulse width modulation next is the sinusoidal pulse width modulation in sinusoidal pulse width modulation sine wave is used as reference signal instead of rectangular signal and triangular wave is used as carrier signal both reference signal and carrier signals are given to the comparator and the comparator output is given to trigger pulse generator and the gating signals are generated which are given to trigger the inverter switches here sine wave is the reference signal and triangular wave is the carrier signal am is the maximum amplitude of sine wave and ac is the maximum amplitude of triangular wave when am greater than ac during this intervals output pulses are generated which are used to trigger the inverter switches like multiple pulse width modulation in sinusoidal pulse width modulation also several pulses per half cycle are obtained we know that multiple pulse width modulation the pulses are of equal width but in case of sinusoidal pulse width modulation the width of each pulse is varied proportional to the amplitude of the sine wave so the main advantages of pulse width modulation techniques are the output voltage of the inverter can be controlled without any additional components also the harmonics at the output of the inverter can be minimized along with its output voltage control thank you